Hi everyone and welcome to today's video where I want to show you some of the bits that I've been buying for my office, some of which are quite extravagant, some of which are totally unnecessary, but some of which are super, super practical. So let's get straight into it. Let's start off with my white leather and rose gold keyboard. It's backlit, it's beautiful, and it's typewriter style. So listen. I now have enough equipment, I think, to start an ASMR channel at some point if we get desperate, but I absolutely love this. It is backlit at night, so it looks really pretty. It's got Bluetooth and USB connectivity, and it is an absolute joy to use. If you are going to buy it though, do make sure you also pick up one of the wrist supports because it is really elevated, which gets really annoying. I did try and buy it without for a while, but eventually I went back and picked this up and then I went back again. I know this is excessive, but I find these really inspiring and I spend a lot of time on my computer. So I keep this one in a different area of the house. This is black leather and rose gold. It comes with a wrist support. This one was actually in the box, so I didn't need to buy it separately. It's so pretty and this is the more compact keyboard. They do matching mice, but I didn't necessarily feel I needed those. So I did have some self-restraint at some point. If you are in the US, they're much more affordable to get hold of, but if you're in the UK, shipping can be really expensive. So I will scope out where you can get these the cheapest and I will link them down below. Next up we have my tea warmer and yes we do have a theme to a lot of the pieces that I buy. This is black and rose gold, it's a tea, coffee, hot drinks warmer. I bought this last year when I was working a lot from home and you get caught up in things and you forget you have a drink and it's gone cold. Whilst this doesn't keep them super hot it does definitely keep them nice and warm and it's really cute, it doesn't take over your office and it does have a safety cutout on it as well so I love this next to my keyboard. Just going along with that, I know it's not really a desk item, but this is really cute. I showed it in a previous video and you guys asked me about it. It is a little tea maker for if you're making loose leaf tea, but you don't want to make a lot of effort. You just put the loose leaf tea in there. It's like a cafetiere for tea. That's pretty much all I've got to say. And the reason that I got a second one of these, I feel the need to justify some of the excesses, is that the one that we've got, Mark is often using, so I needed one to be using at the same time. I didn't just get it to coordinate with the office. The next item I want to point out is this mat that I have on the desk behind me. There was no purpose really to buying this except to make my work environment nicer and I do like working on it. Much like a rug, it somehow ties all the bits of my office together and it encourages me to tidy up so that I can see it and it's all clean and nice at the end of whatever I'm doing. Also, it does protect my desk a little bit, though there's something else I really use for that that I'll show you later. And I do have it in a few different colours for when I mix up my desk, because I do like to completely change everything every so often to keep it an inspiring space, to keep it fresh. The next thing that I want to show you are these shelves that I have behind me. Yes, they are not super fancy. They don't have the highest end finish, but they're really practical and they're not too obtrusive on my desk. They just hold a lot of stuff and they're very flexible. This is my favorite thing. These shelves have been at multiple different places around my room over time when I've needed different things. And right now they're just really flexible for accommodating different numbers of books. They fit my little Dior box underneath really nicely. They don't take up too much room on my desk. That's my favorite thing. And I love that you can rearrange them and reconfigure them. So I, I love those simple, cheap, not high end, but really nice. Just coming back to protecting my desk though for a moment. This is just a cheap, I think it was about 90 pound desk from Ikea that I've had for many years. It's moved between multiple properties with us and it has been scratched significantly along the way. So a few years ago, I looked at getting a glass topper to put on top of here to protect the top of the desk and cover up some of the scratches, but it was going to cost nearly 200 pound for the glass topper. And I thought, no, I'd replaced the desk before that, but that seemed wasteful. So instead I got this plastic cover for over the top. This is the second or third one I think I've had now. Again, I like to mix it up every so often just to have a different fresh look. And I just have this to cover up the scratches marks and keep the desk smoother. So I currently have this white wood effect one on. I've had a dark wood effect before. I've had a marbly looking one before. And FYI, if you're buying this and you're doing a big surface area, can I just recommend you do it with somebody else? Wait for somebody else to be in the house. Don't try and do it on your own. I have previously put the toppers on myself and it's been very bubbly, very messy and it was just, I should have just waited five more minutes for Mark. 
Next up is a paranoid one, but I think it's also quite sensible in today's age. I have little camera covers on all my devices. I don't think you can even see the one on here because it's black. The one on my MacBook in front of me is pink. I used to have one on my Peloton. They're just really handy if you're somebody who's paranoid about a camera suddenly going on, or if you have children who accidentally turn cameras on, that's happened in our house. I just like the cameras all covered up so that I can uncover them if I want to, but it's just a little bit of a safety thing. If you're a planner person, then these will need no introduction, but these are Ollie clips and they are just so, I have loads of them. They are so practical for so many things. They are actually designed to be little bookmarks on planner pages, but you can use them for wires. Because they're magnetic, you can clip wires to the back of devices and screens and things. I love these so much. I use them for organizing all my wires for all my different devices, which I'll show you in a future video. I use them in my planners. They're just really handy organizational things for roundabout. They're really inexpensive. They're very cute. You can get all different patterns. Again, these are quite expensive if you live in the UK because you have to add the shipping on. But if you live in the US, they're really affordable and very adorable. And I thought I'd end today's video with a little pointless one. This is something that nobody needs. It is a headphone stand. I bought this for my Beats headphones because I used to use them for work and I could never find them. But it's funny because even though it's unnecessary, it changed my habits. So I used to put my headphones on here every day when I came in. And I have done that up until today when I can't find them. But generally they're always on here and they're always charged because I can charge them stood up on here and they look really cute. So I keep this stand just above my desk and then if I've taken them to the gym, if I've taken them for a walk, if I've taken them to use downstairs, I have a habit normally of always bringing them back up to sit on my little stand. So yeah, that is it for today. Hope you guys are all super well and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.